welcome back to the channel guys and the transition begins so we're at the hybrid performance center so from bodybuilding to hybrid you're going to see it from a complete beginner to hopefully a competition standard within the next couple of months so come to meet my coach dan so i've gone balls in no playing around guessing food or guessing training programs i've gone invested straight in a coach one of the best around from the reviews that I've heard and what I've seen so far. So I've got my own training program, got my own nutrition tailored to me and performance. So I'm eating a lot more food, I'm a lot more energized, I'm smiling, um, but I'm also anxious. And that's what I wanna talk about in today's video, but we'll talk about that and touch on it later. We're gonna get straight into a session and you're gonna see me have my ass handed to me as you've seen in the bodybuilding history and you've seen in the bodybuilding videos, but now with a completely different outlook. This is hybrid now, it's about performance, it's about fitness, it's about really working your ass off. We'll be sweating, as you can see, the trackies have gone, the shorts are on, the runners are on. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna dive straight into the session now. So session-wise, we're gonna run through the bench to start with, yeah, we've got about 15 minutes to work through as a four. Yeah, one heavy set, probably gonna leave one in the tank for it. Just take it up to a heavy single, just leave one in the tank. We'll then back off with two sets of two, similar kind of theme again, just reduce the load a little bit. We'll then have a rack, probably two racks moving, we're going to a barbell strict press, so zero leg drive, just fucking trying to nail it shoulders before we start. Then we'll work into the EMOMs, we'll go through them in a bit though. Yeah, so start warming up with the bench first. Yeah. Start seeing what numbers we're getting. Yeah. So we've got the flat bench first, and this is just initially a warm up, just a couple of feeler sets like you would in bodybuilding. A little bit of blood to the muscle, and then we're going to go all out. See how much you can lift. I'm not sure in terms of reps, volume, I'm just going to follow the, follow the, follow the plan. Controlling it to some degree, but of course, generating a lot of force and a lot of power through your hamstrings and your feet. Racks. Just literally unwrap, solid as fuck. I let it fully extend. Fully on extend a, because I'm in the through. habit of just going like that, but it's yeah. actually full. That style there. Yeah. 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 Drive up, head through, good. Oh. Head through. Yeah. Drive the head forward a little bit. We're onto barbell strict press now. For me, I'm a 
a complete newbie, so it's nailing execution. So you saw then I was talking to Dan. I'm used to with not really doing a strict press, but if I do, it's literally. But now I'm driving my head all the way through. My mobility is not used to this. So now we're going to talk about mobility and go into that as well to get me into a position where I can effectively complete these movements. You want to be able to dead stop under your chin and then drive off again. It's just like a dead stop ball bend there. Yeah. Combine PB between all of us. Obviously, when you're in a 12 on 10 kilo a side. Bars 20. But no, this is just series all about showing you that you can start from the bottom. And like anything that I do, I will excel in this. I'll compete at a good level. And I'm saying that now so that I stay consistent and that this is on the content. But as you can see, I'm a complete beginner. Everything's new, but I'm learning. Minute one, we're going to be going through a clean. Minute two, we'll be doing toast about our hanging leg, leg raise. Minute three, we're going to be doing a barbell clean and press. Minute four, you're going to be on an erg of choice. We're going to pick between a skier and a runner today. Every minute on the minute you change. If you get, for example, today we've got 12 reps to do on the clean, you've got a minute to do the 12 reps, then you rest for the remainder of the minute before starting again. Bring it up and then through trying, remember you're always trying to think about snapping your elbows through. Yeah? Try and be fast with the elbows as you're coming up. Yeah? The slower you are with that movement as you shrug and come through, they'll just stay down here. Yeah, always try and bring that elbow through. Remember to put your thumb over the bar, yeah? yeah. Bring the elbow through your foot. Just squeeze the elbows up and forward. You see how you reverse curl that onto your chest, yeah. Yeah. As you're coming up, you bring up your body. So you're bringing it up the body and snapping up and through. Tighten your body. Bodybuilder thing I've ever seen in my life. Well, yeah. Most bodybuilder thing I've ever seen. Right. Right. Rigid, hack squat, tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That position, go under, pick up, scoop it, and manhandle it. Nearly oh, rolled me over. Fuck me, yeah. Full food, that's better. Straight arms, catch, wash. Don't 
bend your arms all. Straight arms right, forward. Underneath. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Way better. That's the ball, lad. You're catching it. Fucking hell, man. What the hell? <laughs> I'll bend the elbow. Drag your elbows to the ceiling. Yeah. Drag the chest up. What will be tough for you, buddy, is getting used to releasing tension halfway through a movement. Because you're so used to bodybuilding, you're like tension from start to finish. A lot of our stuff is like popping and catching, throwing and catching. So, it's like on the dead ball then. It's like locked yeah. into someone. Yeah. You get it's used through. to it. Fluid. Yeah. That's how far. Three on release, 50 each though, so it'll be 10, 10 rep, 10 rep, yeah, so five, six, ten each. Straight into a barbell bicep curl, yeah. 10, 10 until we get to 100. 100 butter bicep ups, and whatever time's left on the clock, we go back to back 10 cows each, we go, I go, we'll go, we'll go runner for these last ones, yeah. So 100, 100 on release press ups, 100 barbell bicep curl, 100 butter bicep ups, whatever time's left, runner. I thought the session was genuinely done, like, not even bantering. back at home now and it was an intense session really intense session it wasn't my first hybrid I've been doing it now for like a week to two weeks um, finding the basics and like Dan said just moving less stiff like using momentum I'm not focusing all of a sudden having such a stable environment where if I'm doing a bicep curl everything's focused on that concentric portion of the movement it's all of a sudden when you're doing a clean press you can use some momentum in your knees and you're involving other other joints and other body parts and it's a bit it's been challenging but as you can see now i'm eating smokes there's a lot more food and we're going to be bringing that to the channel but i've not really talked about why i'm making this transition and i will talk about that further in other videos but there's going to be more content and the reason behind that is because in truth i actually just want to be an animal at everything i want to be good at bodybuilding i want to be good at hybrid i want to be good if 
I want to go into a boxing ring and do 12 rounds so you're going to see some boxing content I want to run a marathon I want to run a half marathon I just want to be able no matter where I am to be able to do something that stimulates my brain and I feel like with bodybuilding my knowledge had reached a level where I was like right okay I've kind of stopped learning now there's always something to learn and there's always new methods and new science and I'll continue to develop that knowledge but I want to learn about hybrid now I want to I want to learn about performance nutrition with boxing I want to learn about different movement patterns and really just excel in every avenue so for me now this is just another avenue to excel in and you'll see that on the channel but you're going to see running you're going to see pad work you're going to see boxing might even see some sparring um, and you're going to see full days of eating so what it's like to fuel my body as a hybrid athlete I've spent such a long period of time eating 2100 calories now all of a sudden I'm on 2900 it's 4 p.m I've got three meals to get in so it's exciting so along with that there's a huge move which I'm not going to say what it is yet but relocating from the UK to I'll let you guess where um, but as always thank you for watching it feels good to be producing content again that I'm excited about and remember to comment like and subscribe and let me know what you think about the new style of training Thank you.